Hi, my name is Frédéric Descamps and it's my pleasure to give you a demo on MySQL in a DB cluster. For the first time, MySQL is providing a full integrated out-of-box solution. Ease of use built-in HA. Performance, massive scale-out. It's really easy to deploy and use MySQL in a DB cluster to achieve high availability for your applications. This is what the typical MySQL HA setup looks like. A minimum of three nodes to be full tolerant. MySQL router, duplicate, to make the link between the application and the MySQL in ODB cluster. In case of failure, the cluster will handle it and the MySQL router will route the traffic to the remaining nodes. The DBA can then repair the broken node and connect it back to the cluster and it will sync again with the other nodes. I will now show you how to set up a new MySQL in a DB cluster using MySQL Shell. MySQL Shell is our new interface to everything MySQL. It makes even complex operation easy because of the new admin API. To launch the MySQL Shell, just type MySQL SH. At the moment, I have an empty environment into which I will deploy two instances for the MySQL in ODB cluster. By using the deploy local instance function, the MySQL shell will install sandbox instances in your home directory. Since we are setting this up locally, I will need to set up the MySQL instances on three different ports. I am using 3310, 3320, 3330. So now that we have three sandbox instances up and running, let's connect to the first instance on 3310 to create the cluster. In this demo, you will see how I use the built-in admin API. Let's call it a dev cluster. It asks for a master key. This master key makes working with the cluster very easy. This is the only thing we need to remember to manage it. Voila, our InnoDB cluster is created. Let's have a look at it by using cluster status. As you can see, our InnoDB cluster is not yet tolerant to any failures because we only have the first initial MySQL instance. For fault tolerance, we need at least three. So our next step is to add two more instances to the cluster. This is done by using the add instance function that performs the necessary steps. It will make the new instance sync up with the other members and join the group replication setup. Ok, now that two more nodes have been added, let's have a look at the cluster. As you can see, all the nodes are now online and our cluster can now tolerate a failure. Let's put it to the test. Our cluster is ready. Now we need to route the application to it. Therefore, we will use the MySQL router. The bootstrap option can be pointed to any instance in the InnoDB cluster. Using bootstrap, the router configures itself automatically. Again, we only need it to provide a master key that makes it easy and secure. The router configuration is ready. Now let's start the router. As you can see, router is listening on port 6446. Let's connect to the cluster via the router using the MySQL shell. Let's see to which port we are connected. We are connected to the port 3310. Let's test HA. To simulate a failure, we will go back to the terminal and kill this MySQL cluster instance. I will now kill that PID. Now let's check again in the MySQL shell to see if we have performed a failover. It worked! We have a full HA cluster! As you could see, in just a few minutes we were able to set up a HA MySQL environment using MySQL in a DB cluster. 
We also saw how easy and quickly the system can automatically fail over in case of disaster. Please feel free to test MySQL in a DB cluster by yourself. You can download it on labsmysql.com. Thank you.